Okay, welcome back to Think Tank with Scott and Roy. Yep, I'm Scott. And I'm Roy. And we are going to uh, do something a little bit different. Mm. Um, a lot of the questions that we get, we, we, some people send us questions yeah. or, or topics to talk about. Some of them are really good. Some of them uh, we need to narrow down, break it down a little bit more. Yeah, sort of it's just a, it's a big umbrella. Really, yeah, well, yeah, it's very easy to just go off topic and go crazy. But mm. 70, 80% of the questions we get, Scott, mm-hmm. guys want help with women. Yeah, big topic. Now, why do you think that is, Scott? Well, honestly, I reckon, just to be real, I guess, that it's one of the big social points in guys' lives in, I suppose, a social arena, you know, that often a, there's sort of a culture that, you know, you can get rejected, you can get hurt. It's putting yourself on the line emotionally, and that can be a very scary thing to do. So not only is it vulnerable to talk to women, but people have, like, they, re- they react badly to yeah. women or they react in a way and... It's a fear of looking foolish is really, I think, the underlying I think that's thing. a really big thing. I, got, I used to, to be very... Um, I was teased a lot in primary school, stuff yeah. like that. Hmm. You get confidence issues, things like that sort of absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. But, um, but now, you know... And you You're just gregarious as hell now. Well, Hopefully, it's not a bad thing, but oh. I suppose you can account for it. But I'm happy to go up to anybody and have a conversation about anything. Yeah. Really. That's it. And um, I think that's... A, I very highly value that quality of myself. Oh, I've enjoyed it. I mean, I used to be very introverted. And now I talk to just about every person I come across. If I'm on the train, you know, oh, I'll talk to you. You look like a lunatic, but I'll have a chat to you. You've done that a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not good, man. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> I... I a guy came up when I was waiting at a at a restaurant, uh, having a having a couple of coffees and waiting for a movie. And this guy in Parramatta Station, um, nearby the station, came up, lunatic looking dude, balding in his forties. Lunatic. Yeah, leather jacket, no shirt, covered in stomach scars, like his chest was covered in scars. And he comes up and bums a smoke off the guy next to me. And then while I'm waiting for my food, he grabs my knife off the table. And starts like going to stab himself. He like checks the blade. And it's a steak knife too, by the way. And he goes to start like cutting on himself on it in front of me. I'm like, "You good there, buddy?" And he's like, "It's not good, man. It's not good." And he starts like arc up. And I'm like, "Am I have to try to kill this guy? Like, <laughs> he's going friggin' nuts, you know?" And yeah, but he starts soaring on himself to like start cutting himself open near a bunch of other scars on his stomach after bumming a smoke. And and I'm just like. You know, I'm going to need to use that, right? And I'm like, <laughs> so, so you're having a conversation. Yeah, like it, almost like, oh, how's your day been kind of thing, but slightly carefully because he may attempt to murder me. And, and he sort of just had a chat, talk to me for like 20 seconds and seemed to realize what he was doing was probably a bit socially rude <laughs> to just pull my knife off the table and cut himself in front of me. So he just sort of put it down on the table and sort of just had a chat for 10 more seconds and just left. It was just like, Jesus, guys. That would be very profound. I thought I might have to try to kill that guy, you know? But- yeah, just there's some crazy characters out there, but I think the important thing is just to have conversations with people. Mm. It's important to realize that all the barriers that we put up say, okay, I can't talk to this woman. She's too pretty. She's too attractive. She'll shoot me down. Especially, we'll use that. I mean, it's any social context, but we'll use that. Is really a lot of the barriers are just in your mind. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, sure, oh. she might be attractive, but maybe she's uncomfortable about herself. Maybe she's just doled up because her friends wanted to go out. She'd really like to just, just hang out and watch a movie at home. How Maybe she'd have an argue with her mum. I don't know. Her good mood or her bad mood or her receptive to use to you is often related to factors that are beyond your control anyway. So you may as well just strike while the iron is hot. Take an opportunity to try to talk to a lady. See where it goes. Goes well. Then you've got an opportunity to have a lovely time with a lady. If it doesn't go well, well, then all you've done is talk for 30 seconds and that's all you've lost. But um, a lot of guys are afraid of like looking like an idiot, or it's, it's like you said, it's in their head. Yeah, now, yeah. I read a piece of philosophy, uh, Jules Jules Evans, mm, um, mm. philosophy for life and other dangerous situations. I, I yeah, I think called. you've given that to me. I haven't, I haven't read it. I haven't read it yet. Oh. Honest, guy. <laughs> I've got like ten. No, I'm, I'm just giving you shit. I'm giving you shit. <laughs> but um, <laughs> crap, it's true. <laughs> but it was like um, this guy was um. He was really nervous. Yeah. Very socially, like, yeah. So what he did was he went out to a shopping mall every single day, shadow boxed. Yeah. Looked like a retard, felt like a retard. By the end of the week, 
he could talk to anybody because he didn't care what people thought anymore. Yeah. And a lot of guys are afraid that it's like, oh, well, if I go talk to this person, then it's they're going to think I'm weird. It's going to go bad. I don't want this happening. But at the end of the day, it's just a matter of, hey, how you doing? Yeah, not bad at all. You know? It's just, just stuff like that. And other people, they look at it and they're just like, oh, if someone spoke to me, so well, what? That, that's the thing. I mean, often the other people that you're worried about looking foolish in front are almost like, man, I wish I had your confidence. I wish I was you. I wish I was that guy. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, a lot want... of the people I speak to are very much like that. Yeah. I'm a very, very... As far as outgoing people go, I reckon I'm probably one of the most outgoing people. Yeah, you're high energy, high impact. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was at a restaurant once with a friend of mine. We had a cup of coffee and a little bite to eat. Mm. And the waiter came... I always wear this necklace. Yeah. yeah. This, this particular necklace. I, uh, I this, like that. This, thank you. I made it myself. Mm. Uh, uh, every time I go to the beach, I get a necklace or a bracelet, and then eventually it'll break, and then I'll add it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a graveyard of bracelets. It's, 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 my, it's my surfboard ne- necklace graveyard. You know, yeah. Because it's, it's always a beach thing. Yeah. yeah. And um, the waiter was like, oh, I really like your necklaces. That was the first thing she said to me. Mm. You know, and, um, and I looked at hers, and she had one too. And I'm like, oh, I really like yours. You know? And then we sort of started talking and stuff. Mm. And uh, the person that I was with was sort of like, <clears throat> I'm forgetting that I'm here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm having a conversation. <laughs> and so we're going back and forth and we're talking about that and stuff. And she's like, oh, look, I really need to wait at other tables, but I'd love to talk when you're coming up to pay or when I come back to serve you water or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, easy piece to see them. Yeah. You know? yeah. And honest, honestly, how often, like, if you're in a, in a job like that, how often do you get the opportunity to just, just have a conversation with somebody? Well, most people go, hi, hi, hi. You do the minimum amount of social interaction ever. It's just all polite. It's all doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And you're like, man, I really wish I could talk to that pretty lady. Just have a general conversation. What, what's stopping you? Yeah, there's nothing. You, you had just... a conversation with a beautiful lady very recently, didn't you? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I was using the example before we started chatting. Um, pretty much it was. I just needed to get some cash out to um, just pay a bill. Just need to go to an ATM and, and grab some. So I got to the ATM and there was a really pretty lady just going to the ATM as well. Really doled up, lovely hair, dressed up to almost like a formal occasion. Pretty, like go, going out to the city formal occasion. So she was, she, she was, was gorgeous. She was gorgeous in a situation in an area where they're not doled up pretty ladies very often. So I'm just like, I'm just going to talk to her. I don't really want to hit on her. I really don't want it to go anywhere, but I'm just going to have to talk to her. You're just so, going to enjoy having a conversation that's with a pretty lady. That's all it is. That's all I wanted to do. So I've gone to her, you know, there's some really nice shoes. And she's like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Normally, you know, they're, they're so smaller than I'd normally wear. And I was worried if I was going to get fitting in them. And it's like, they're like, oh, it's all good. So, you know, so they're, they're you, nice you've made shoes. one offhanded comment. And especially on something that's going to reinforce her. Because it's about her. It's about something, obviously, she likes. She, Everyone loves to talk about themselves. If you're looking for a tactic, guys. Oh, everyone well, loves talking about themselves. When I, did, I did, when I did philosophy at university, um, the, we had to do... Uh, an introduction to s- I just had a brain fart um, mm-hmm. psychology okay, okay. <laughs> I had a brain fart sorry and um, the first thing that the first rule that you learn in psychology to influence a person is um, talk about them yeah P- ask them questions because that's, that's a that's run. a gold mine that almost never runs dry oh the gold keeps flowing there's diamonds in that gold <laughs> diamond, you know, man. like like hey Scott Where'd you get that shirt? I was reading it before. It, it says, the funniest thing about this shirt is that by the time you realize it doesn't say anything, you've too far to stop reading it. Dumbass. You dumbass. Yeah. So I, I, actually, that shirt's I actually picked it up in the heart of Liverpool, near the Westfields, um, at one of those $2 op shops. I bought like three or four shirts that were really funny. <laughs> yeah. And this is probably the least funny. And um, yeah, they were like $5 each. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy some funny shirts. I'm going to buy some... Uh, Oreos, because you can buy crap loads of Oreos for like a dollar each. Yeah. When I was with a previous girlfriend, I, I grabbed my call of crap and I went to the shopping mall and watched the movie or something. Oh, yeah. What are the other two shirts like? Just as funny? Um, there's another one where it's like... Um, you see what I'm doing here? I'm, 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 I'm talking about... Well, that's a nice, that, mm. Something and that you have is really good. Yeah. Where did you get that? That's awesome. Where did you... Who were you with? Oh, you like Oreos, And dude. this is perfect example, guys, to talk about common ground. Well, yeah. You know? If you're both on the same side about something, you're probably going to be on the same side about other things, like having dinner together. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't want to, like, for the most part, I'm not actually talking about using these tactics to woo women. Yeah, it's not, it's not cynical so much. I mean, it, obviously, it's a tactic, 
But oh, you're it's, genuinely it's a tactic asking, to help conversation flow, yeah. for sure. I mean, if you're not genuinely interested, it's going to show. Oh, yeah. You have to actually give a shit about what you're at asking At least a little. About. At least a little. If you're going to feign it, you have to feign giving a shit very well. Yeah, I was like, that was, a, that was a reasonably good example because actually that was a pretty funny shirt. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't um, interested in talking about it at all. But, but I'm like, yeah. but if I'm sort of like, oh, hey, Scott, um, I notice you're not wearing shoes. Do you, you know, you not wear shoes often? That's almost a negative connotation. Well, yeah, it doesn't seem very genuine because, quite yeah. frankly, I don't care. Yeah, you know? well, I was wearing shoes five minutes ago. What are you talking about? Oh, I, mu- I, must have, I must have missed it, Scott. <laughs> um, sorry, I was looking at your, your glasses. I noticed you wear glasses. I do, I do. So it's not genuine. No. You no. know, like, I was waiting for a follow on so I could talk about my glasses. But you see, oh, I, didn't, I, I didn't actually have a follow on because I wasn't actually interested. There you go. You know? I mean, I, I'm very good at feigning interest in bullcrap general conversation points. I'm not. Because. <laughs> I had a job as a telemarketer for oh, a while yeah. where bullcrap genuine conversation points, you have to say at least a few. Hmm. So I, I'll talk about anything with anyone. Receptionists I love talking to. The same three lines of bullcrap work on a hundred receptionists in a battle row. Oh, yeah, easy. You know? <laughs> and, but if, if you're actually genuine about it, which I was most of the time, it really goes across. Well, I think that's People a... just want good, interesting diversions from their otherwise boring day. People well, are bored and stressed. Well, my golden rule for conversation is I never say anything to anybody that I'm not actually interested in. Yeah, that's so, a good place. You know, you're almost stuck at a party, especially. Talking to a girl you're actually not interested in, that you hit on because you thought you should be hitting on her, and now you're stuck in a conversation that we're pretending to be interested about, someone you don't care and then, about, and, and want to talk to someone else. And then you feel the pressure of the conversation. Yeah, nah, it's not, it's not, yeah. it's not good. I've been there. It's not good, like man. It. It's not good. <laughs> that guy was crazy. Probably one of the craziest people I've ever seen. <laughs> but um, you should talk, if you're going to talk to a woman... Don't if you if you don't want to know, don't ask. Yeah, you know, simple as that. I actually genuinely wanted to know about this waiter's necklace or whatever. That's it. And if I didn't genuinely want to know, I would not have asked because you know what? People can tell if you're genuine or not. Yeah, I mean, if it's not on a conscious level, people know on some level that you're not actually interested. That you're just talking to an outcome. Okay. Yeah, he's asking me about this necklace that he doesn't care about. He just wants to get in my pants. You know what? Women... And maybe you very much do want to get in the pants, but you need to probably be interested in this woman. At least a minimum of the time to yeah, you know, have a conversation. You get, you get if a you sh- want to be shallow. You've got to respect her. Yeah, yeah. You know. um, it's got to be an enjoyable interaction. I the... read a very interesting piece. Alex Barnes talking about this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> virtually nice guys um, objectify women. Yeah, they do. Yeah, because... Nice guys are like, oh, I'm going to be nice so that women like me so that I can get in with a woman that I like mm-hmm. and I get what I want. That's it. Oh, that's it. I'm I was nice to you all these times, so why aren't you having sex with me? Yeah. Because yeah. clearly I'm so nice. What's up with that? Why are you going out with a jerk when I'm a nice guy? I deserve a certain thing. Yeah. I've seen that from a female perspective where it's basically, look, look, guy, don't be a dickhead. But you see, it's like Nice this. is a minimum. Nice gets you talking. Yeah. After that, that's it's you. Yeah, nice is the minimum. Everyone who wants to get in my pants is nice. Nice <laughs> is the minimum you need to get in the door. Wow, you're nice. Good for you. I don't care. So are 80,000 other men. That's it. <laughs> Everyone talks to me that's chatted to me. Like, if, like I've been on hit on 100 guys tonight. All of them were nice. You wanna- what else have you got? <laughs> that's, a damn, that's a damn good point, Scott. Nice is the minimum you need to get to have a conversation. That is where you show your value as a sexual partner. Women can tell a conversation. Yeah. Partner. But women can really tell when they're being objectified. Oh, yeah. Scott, have you ever been in a conversation with a woman where she has objectified you? I had one recently. It actually made me feel really uncomfortable. Me too. I get it. I got chased and my ass was grabbed and I did not want that to happen. And it made me feel uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually felt uncomfortable. I'm like, wow, you I got, actually know how this feels. You got chased. Like, I didn't want her to grab my ass. So you ran. And I moved back. She chased me and grabbed my ass and gave me a real lecherous look. I'm like... I actually didn't want that to happen. I feel uncomfortable after that. It's a very interesting thing. Because mm. normally I don't care in the slightest. So. Yeah, well, whenever I do it to you. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you get a nice ass, you get a nice ass. Hey, well, to be honest, I have, been, I have a very feminine um, rump. So No, no, you don't. You, ha- you have a rump, a, a, a big ass booty from running all the time. <laughs> And women want your booty simply to be wearing on them, not for your booty. Yeah, they, for you. when they say, I want your booty, it's not like, I want you. It's like, I want to, like, remove that part <laughs> of your body and graft it to mine. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but, um, getting off the point, but it was like, 
Yeah, you can tell. I can tell. I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to say that I've had it happen to me a lot, but I've had it happen to me more than once. Yeah. Where a woman has spoken to me for the simple outcome of hmm. just sleeping with me. Or yeah. Whatever. It's not a very nice feeling. It's not. And you can tell straight away. Mm. Like, you don't, they don't even have to be obvious about it. They can just be like, hey, Scott, how you doing? And you're like, you want to sleep with me, and that's the only thing you care oh, about. You don't I've had that from someone at parties occasionally. I'm just like... Yeah, yeah, I've actually seen that happen to you. Mm. I've seen it happening to you, you know? And, um... I'm losing the point. Oh, yeah. You can tell straight away. You can tell that there's no respect there. And if yeah. men can tell, women can definitely <laughs> tell. <laughs> yeah. If it happens to us on the odd occasion, a pretty lady getting hit on 30 times in a night is pretty good at working out who's objectifying her and pissing them off quickly. Well, yeah, she she can... They'll, they'll yeah. shit test you and throw you out of the park straight away. Oh yeah, they yeah. get good at it. And let's be honest, if you if you genuine if you're genuine with a person, mm. they can they can tell. Yeah, you know, like sincerity is the best offense you can have. Oh yeah, just be sincere. And if you only want to sleep with this woman, mm-hmm. tell her. Yeah, tell her that. Look, I don't want to have a, a, a relationship with you. To be honest, I just find you very sexually attractive. And to be honest, like. I'd be careful with that particular approach. Well, obviously, I'm paraphrasing. But yeah. I know a guy who, who does that. He um, he doesn't want a relationship, but he would like to sleep with women. Mm. You know, his approach, mm. He what he does is he meets women, he speaks to women, he's, he respects He only sees with women that he respects. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and you know what? He'll just tell them. He'll go, you know what? I don't want a serious relationship. I just want to sleep with you. And they're like, I appreciate your honesty. Um, We should bang sometime. Yeah, yeah. You know, good on him. If that's what he wants, good for him. That's it. But... Yeah. That there is like cl- exhibit A of be genuine. Yeah, I mean, I, I think women are more favorable to that approach than you think, than social oh, yeah. thing would dictate. Honestly, because that it's just as long as you approach it in such a way that doesn't make them feel like their worth is less because it's just you sleeping with them. Oh, God, no. You know? God, no. You know, as long as yeah. you say it in a respectful way that respects them and I gives get them off the a- topic of. Sleeping with them. Sure, sure. To be honest. And gives them a way out emotionally that doesn't make them feel like crap. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, to be honest, I don't really like the idea of pursuing them. If it's just like, I'm not into that sort of thing. I don't mind it, but as, as long as it has an emotional connection as well, if it's just straight up sex, it's whatever, I can just get a prostitute. You know? Yeah. Well, but, but still, I'd rather talk about the pursuit of women romantically. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought you meant personally. A topic change I'm happy to do. Yeah, let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, well, it's not that much of a topic change because mm. it stays the same. I mean, all the things that I was saying, I was talking from that perspective. Yeah. You know, be genuine. You, you know? have to be. What are you going to do? Are you going to... You're not going to enjoy it if you're not genuine anyway. Well, yeah. I mean, trying to woo this woman into her pants is going to be a chore. You don't want that. Yeah. You want to enjoy your time. You want to just... Why are you doing it otherwise? Yeah, exactly. It's just... not some artificial scorecard you have to fill to be a man. <laughs> I mean, I think that's honestly what people have a problem with. They think that if I don't sleep with lots of women, I'm not a real man. Oh, fuck that. You know? Oh, excuse me. That's all right. Parlez vous français? But, um... <laughs> Black and full <Fulco. laughs> <laughs> Italian for, uh... What is it? Uh, I always like Je suis le gars, which is French for I am a train station, which is probably the least helpful thing to say in French. Wonderbar. 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 Anyway, um, yeah, sleeping with the, the amount of women you sleep with doesn't matter. Who gives a crap? Yeah. Honestly, it's... To, be, it, to say the same thing, the amount of men that women sleep with doesn't make it any different. Yeah. It could, right. I don't mind how many women, uh, how many men women sleep with. It's all women. That. To be honest, I do, but don't get it confused with number because mm. I have a problem with it only because I don't want to be seen as the next number. Yeah, that's, I want to be that's seen as enough. somebody that you want to sleep with because you genuinely have feelings for me. Yeah, you, you want to you want you want to be as can't say not you, you want to be a means you don't want to be a means to an end. I don't want to be number seven. I want to be Roy. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you, you know mean. What I mean. Mm. I don't want to be instrumentally valuable. I want to be inherently valuable. Yeah. You want to be with her because she wants to rock and bod and she also wants to spend time with you because she enjoys your company. You don't, she does, You just don't want to be a cheap route that she then discards for the next person. Absolutely. You know, you want to be valued like a woman wants to be exactly. valued as Exactly. Well. And if I want that, 
What do you think women want? Yeah, of course. You're going to return the favour. They don't want to be demeaned. You know? Well, yeah. To be honest, like, hey, look, I'm not going to have an attack on men here. Mm. I'm not going to go suddenly off feminine, but we have to make, I have to make a statement. Some men are really are just slobbery pigs. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I would say most men are slobbery pigs in this regard. Uh, honestly, I'd say, uh, I think there's most. some men. I think some men feel like they have to be slobbery pigs because that's what society has demanded of them. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Would you... I think a lot of people try to pick up chicks with their buddies just because they feel like they have to and they're not a man if they don't try to pick up women. Hmm. And a woman turns them down because she doesn't want to sleep with him for whatever reason. It may not even anything to do with him. And then his ego is wounded, therefore he feels the need to demean the woman as a defense for his wounded ego. Coping mechanisms. There you go. To be honest. Um, they're just women are people, you know? Yeah. Hot ones are still people. <laughs> You know, I could, I could, they're still I, having arguments with their mum and worried about how they're going to pay their taxes. That's yeah. just, I, I've got a friend who's reasonably attractive. Mm. We hang out from time to time. I, would, I, I wouldn't say we're best buddies. Mm. But, you know, we're good friends. Um, and one day she she was just like, because, see, um, she, she's always had trouble with guys. Yeah. Because she's yeah. a very attractive person, mm. to be honest. And one day... um. She wanted to, to start getting into reading and stuff. Okay. Because she was like, I want to get smarter. You, you, Roy, you very articulate. use very large words. You spoke a language. I wish I was like you. Mm. So I said, read books. Yeah, you're exposed to it. Yeah. You yeah, see a lot it. of good words. You've got to pick up a few. Exactly. And then she's like, can you take me to a bookstore? And maybe help, us, help me find some good books and stuff like that. Something that I like. And so, yeah, I took her there. And all that sort of stuff. on the way back, she's like, I'm shocked. Why are you shocked? Uh, and and she said, "You're not hitting on me. You just you're just being genuine. You just want to do this. You're just hanging out, being casual. This never happens." Mm. And I'm like, "Well, sure, you're an attractive woman, but I don't want to sleep with you. Mm. You know." And um, I think ever since then, she's just comfortable. I, I make people very comfortable very easily. Mm. And I don't know why that is. I think that maybe that um, I th- honestly, I think that maybe that's because I'm very genuine. Yeah, I think that's the main factor. You're but, just very genuine. You, you, you're not very much a closed book. You're genuine. You bring yourself to the table, hmm. and you're very genuine with your compliments. And people are like, I'm having fun hanging out with Roy. I feel that Roy is wanting to spend time with me, and I'm going to react positively. Hmm. Because uh, I, I wish everybody was like that. Because if everybody was like that, then people wouldn't be writing to us saying, oh, "How can I?" Well, I think it's often a lack yeah, of confidence as well, because they feel like they can't be themselves because people would tease them. Dude, man, honestly, like... You'd be surprised how little people tease people for being themselves. And I, if you, those people you don't hang out with anyway. I'm a pretty colourful person. Mm. Um, I'm, I speak to everybody. I act up. <clears throat> There's one of the guys at TAFE I act gay with. <laughs> just, just for a laugh. It's just know? funny. Yeah. It's just funny. I would never kiss him or anything. Yeah. Know, yeah. You know? But there's one of the guys there, and um, he's a bit put off by it. Yeah, a bit yeah. put off by how confident I am, or just how easygoing I am, I suppose. Okay, okay. And I suppose some people would just be like, oh, I don't want him thinking bad of me, or whatever. I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Look how many people, look like how easily I can make friends. You know, I've got a lot of people who conversation with me and stuff. Just because one guy thinks it's a little bit odd or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can happily think he's a bit odd. That's fine. Yeah, and, and a lot of these confidence issues comes from people who are like, I don't want people to think of me. Way. Well, who, does, it, does it matter? It's just not like life scoring you. Like, and, well, yeah, you know, you didn't get 80% of people thinking you were the best, therefore you lose. People can think what they're going to... Some people aren't going to like you regardless of who you are. Oh, no, absolutely. Some you can't change it. You can't change that. Some people are going to hate your guts no matter what you try to do. You can try your best to win them over and be exactly the person they want to be. And they'll hate your guts for another reason. Yeah. You could be... You could know, be your best version of you. Only you can be you. Everyone else is taken. Yeah. And um, some, some, some people some people hate people because they're just damn good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can't... Jealousy is a very they'll, abundant they'll, emotion. They'll lie to themselves and convince themselves they hate you because you're a douchebag. Yeah. Really, they hate themselves for not putting in the effort to be gregarious and outgoing because they wish they were. So but they're just going to hate you for it because that's the easier option. Yeah. And I'll convince themselves. Yeah, absolutely. But, but it's going to happen. Yeah. You know, people aren't going to like you. Can't be friends with everyone. 
But you know, it doesn't matter because if you're genuine and you're you're the you that you want to be, mm. um, someone's gonna go up to you and be like, "Oh man, that Scott guy is so annoying." And then it's happened to me. I've actually overheard this happening. Someone's gone up to somebody and they've gone, "Oh man, Roy, he's so and like what a like try hard." And yeah. someone's actually gone, you know, I actually really like Roy. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a little laugh about that. You know? I don't care what people say. But I thought that was really funny. And I thought that made a really good point. You mm. know, if you're really genuine, people are really, people really are You're going to attract the kind of people you're going to want to hang out with because you're both having fun. Yeah. And, and your personalities match. And it's going to be really helpful in getting rid of the people that you don't want. In fact, there was one guy who... Um, I didn't really seem to... We uh, personalities clashed a little bit. That's fine. But then as he was exposed to me more, we're really good buddies now. Often you just need to find the point where you just can agree on something. Because sometimes, I mean, I, I tend to be a lot more... I could be outgoing, but I'm a bit more chill in it. I'm not so high energy. Yeah, you're you're low energy confident. I'm high energy confident. Mm. I mean, I can be, once I get worked up, I'm, I'm freaking... Wow. I'm yeah, but, there. yeah, but it takes, but it takes, takes you time. a lot yeah. to get worked up, whereas me, not so much. I'm, I'm just happy to have a laugh and slap people in the back and be chill. You know, that, that's that's what I enjoy doing. It's who I am. But that doesn't mean that you're less confident about it, you know? No, God no. I like me, and I like being around people who like me. God no. I was at the, I was at the beach a few weeks back with a buddy. Hmm. He's like, you should go talk to that chick. She's pretty. I'm like, okay. That's not her only really instrumental value. Well, of course not. But yeah. I'm like, well, okay. First impression. So I go up to her, I'm like, hey, Great. how you doing? And she's like, uh, hey. I'm like, oh, look, honestly, I just wanted to stop by and say hello. Thought you were pretty, you know, all that sort of stuff. And she's like, oh, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. You know? And then we had a conversation on the beach, and then her friends came over. And they're like, oh, we're doing a fundraiser for, to be honest, I can't remember what it was because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I... But she that, was pretty, but we weren't talking about it. Yeah, but and yeah. Like, they took a photo of like some sign they were holding up. I'm like, yeah, man, I'll help. I'll like join in the photo. And they're like, yeah, we're going to put this photo on Facebook and stuff. Do you mind if we get your consent? I'm like, yeah, go crazy. Yeah. You know, we're just having fun and stuff. And then I go back and he's like, did you get her number? I'm like, no. Because I, I didn't ask for her number. He's like, why didn't you ask for her number? Didn't want to. I didn't want to. <laughs> I, I was quite happy to just go over and have a conversation, and then I joined in with her friends, and and that was that. And then I ended up seeing her later that day because she went off somewhere else on the beach, and we went for a run on the beach. Mm. I bumped into her, and I'm like, "Oh, how you doing?" and stuff like that, you know. And yeah. and um, and then it came up. Oh, somebody asked if she had a boyfriend. She's like, "Oh, well, I do have a boyfriend." Mm. And then the guy went off, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna keep talking because I don't care." If they yeah, because, that doesn't mean we can't have a conversation. Because, yeah, just I'm, not, because, I'm not I'm not angling to have sex with you right now, so the fact you've got a boyfriend well, really doesn't be, matter. To be honest, I wasn't even angling to have sex with you. Well, that's it. I'm not even saying that'll be the case later. It, it was like you were the pretty woman at the ATM. I just wanted to have a conversation. I just want to have a conversation. She yeah. just looked pretty. I wanted to talk to her for like 30 seconds, and then I was done. And I, I ended the conversation. I don't want to talk to her after that. <laughs> I need to get back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> but the only reason that I stopped to continue talking was because I felt like I'd made a friend. Yeah. You know? And so... Uh, just do shit like that. Yeah. You know, if, if you if you talk to everybody that you meet, you will gain. You're gonna get good at it. You get good at anything you do a lot. Have a lot of conversations with women. Yeah. You just say you just say like people do. You just when you order your coffee, you're like, oh hey, blah 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 blah. How you doing? How's your day? Like Why just I, generally ask how the day is. I went to coffee with a friend two months ago, and the get the waiter was gay. Yeah. Gay as shit. Mm. He wanted my dick. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about this. Yeah. He was hitting on you. Yeah, yeah, he was hitting on me hard. <laughs> because um, we, he, we would, he would bring over the drinks, mm. and it was it's going to be hard for the viewers, but I'm going to do it for you, and maybe you can help. But, sure. So I'm sitting over here where I was. I just stood up. And yeah, I'm the waiter, yeah. And you're me. And, I, and then he goes, oh, there's your drink, and there's your drink. Oh, oh, he, oh, he, sort of he's done the slight touch and too much eye contact, and he's made a show of giving you. He's made, yeah, made a show of giving you your <laughs> drink, but he's just sort of like, all right, well, here's her drink, and here's your drink. Mm. And and then I'm like, oh, wow, oh, thanks so much for that. What was your name, buddy? Oh, yeah, Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. My name's Roy. Oh, and this here is Emily, or I think it was Emily. I don't remember. <laughs> I've heard this conversation. I didn't hear the who you were with. So. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. And um, yeah, we just had a conversation and all that, and we had a little bit of laugh, and then he walked off. And I looked at her and, I, and she looked at me and I went, he's gay. And she's like, I don't know. 
he's never spoken to me before. <laughs> you know? and, and that there is the flip side of the coin because he's never spoken to her because he has no sexual interest in her. Yeah. Why can't you just speak to people you don't have sexual interest in? I love in? talking to people. Yeah. And he came back to serve the food. Yeah. You know? And I don't know how it happened. Yeah. But I accidentally made a possible sleep with me joke. Oh, okay. Because I was, made, okay. I, was, I was so comfortable with the conversation. I was happy saying whatever. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think it was like, when do you guys close? Because I might want another coffee. Oh, and then, yeah, yeah, that's... Hey, if he wants you, that's enough. No, 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 I, I was, no, no, no. I was <laughs> that's, just, a, that's, a, that's a potential... Uh, no, because you know. we got it, and it was, it was getting close to five, and I'm oh, like, okay, oh, yeah. sorry, what time do you guys close? And he's like, to be honest, we're about to close up. But if you want, um, I can give you my after numbers hours. I think, I think he's... Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'm like, oh, no. After she, hours number. After hours number. And, and um, I'm like, oh, man, I'll give you a call like, in the middle of midnight and come over and make me a coffee. And I was, I was, yeah, that's, that's and, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, but, but I realized what I'd said after I'd said it. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 the, and the woman across from me, and it's just sort of like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> and, and in my head, I was like, oh no, he's going to make a gay joke. Oh, man. And then, and then the, I can't remember exactly what he did, but I think it was something like this. He's going to make you a <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, this guy thinks I'm hitting on him. Because, I've, made, I've done that accidentally before. You know, yeah, uh, but it's, Interaction between people. I didn't care that he was gay. I didn't care that he was sitting on me. In yeah. fact, I was flattered. He oh, was yeah, sitting it's on me. flattering. It's flattering. But um, it doesn't always have to have sexual intention. Yeah. You have to stop speaking to people with a sexual intention to get good speaking to people. Yeah. I mean, you really have to approach them. They're just a person. They're not just an object you're trying to attempt to sleep with this woman and raise an artificial mm-hmm. number mm-hmm. so you can feel good about yourself because society says that champions are only bang lots of women. Well, yeah. You see... I don't know. I don't it's know. a culture thing. Well, yeah. You need to bang lots of women, so therefore you need to buy hair products. You need to do this. You need to get waxed. You need to do this. You need to do that. So you can feel good about yourself. Rather than just feeling good about yourself first, doing what you would like to do and mm. approaching the country. Who cares if you get women? Yeah. <laughs> Who gives a crap? That's it. <laughs> Who gives a crap, you know? Um, stuff women, man. If, if, I, if I was gay, I would make... A bloody shit ton of money because oh yeah I'd make a killing because gays love me yeah I'm the same if, oh, I, I, just, if I was oh, bi or gay it'd be so much more convenient for oh me. yeah absolutely gay. I'm not so I, get, I, got, I must get a, a homosexual proposition once a month yeah to yeah. be honest oh yeah that's not too bad that's I'm not even exaggerating <laughs> and, and, and I'm I'm general, generally a lot of them are pretty respectful like, oh, hmm. hey, you know it's the same sort of situation and then I'm like well. I really enjoy talking to this person, but I need to let him know that I'm not interested. Yeah, really clear. Yeah, and and when you and when you put it like that, you can understand why people being generally nice to women, even though they can tell that there's an interest there that they don't want, it's hard for them just to be like, well, no, because women generally like having conversations. Yeah, and so if you're if a woman's generally having a conversation that they like, well, they're going to feel awkward saying, I don't want to. You need to stop. Because sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah. And then the conversation yeah. ends and then, then they look like they hunt themselves. I mean, like I was, I was talking to a lady recently and often most of the time she goes to clubs is just to hang out with her friends and dance because one of them is feeling down. Yeah. So she's not even there. For, she's not even there looking pretty for any guy at all. She's there looking pretty because women dress up to impress other women. There you go. And um, so I imagine guys would come up to her and hit on her and she'd be like, I'm not really looking. And then she's labelled as an upper self selective bitch or well, whatever. Well, that's, that's what you do. Of course, it can't be because of something you've done. So therefore, it must be her fault. Yeah, that's it. Who cares if it's... It's not about you. Yeah. They have a preference that's not you. Yeah. Easy as that. I mean, I mean, you can't have a... Pre- like, well, they're going to say, no, sorry, I'm not interested. Not, actually, I wish you were Hispanic, about two inches taller. Um, I've had that. And had a particular taste in this. I've had that. <laughs> I'm serious. That's, that's you, refreshing amounts of honesty. No, 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 no. no. You know, bracing. You know the woman but, that you're seeing now? Yeah. It was yeah. her friend. Oh, which one? Which one? I'm, I'm not going to say now, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'll sorry. tell you yeah, afterwards, yeah, but yeah. it was like, uh, 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 this was back when I was just starting to open up and become confident. So this is years back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, it was like, and this is before I started getting into strength training and, and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. So I didn't look nice. Like muscular as I do now. Yeah. And... So I had a conversation with her and stuff, and then a friend got back to me and said, well, 
to be honest, you're a couple of two or three inches too short. Mm. You're not quite bulky enough. Mm. Um, you don't quite have enough facial hair. The color of your hair isn't really her preference, and uh, I don't think she likes the style of shoes. Anyway. <laughs> and, 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 and like it just got served to me and i'm like well that was refreshing <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was bracing yeah, i'm awake again yeah that was Ugh. that was great <laughs> i just i couldn't help but laugh <laughs> to be honest i couldn't help well, but i can't laugh. do anything about most of that yeah I, will, I can't change a lot of those things to be honest and um yeah, I, I i couldn't help i just i, I was wondering, that's pretty funny <laughs> 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 and um and and it's actually funny that because we were talking about homosexuality earlier, yeah. because generally I, I enjoy having conversations with everybody. Apparently, yeah. that comes across as a little bit. Yeah, honestly, it's slightly the way you're having a conversation. I think it's just because you're very forward and confident. People can misconstrue it. Well, well, gay men are very forward and confident because they don't deal with women the same way that straight men well, do. Gay women really don't like women, frankly. That's, yeah, I've noticed that. It's yeah, funny. Well, they just don't respect them. Yes. And I suppose, you know, if they're like, okay, they're bitchy, but I don't want to sleep with them, therefore they have no reason to like them. <laughs> <laughs> Gay men are bitchy enough. Yeah, that's the case of that. But, um, yeah, so it was actually funny because when she came over to tell me about all these traits that I didn't have, she was like, by the way, um, I thought you were gay. <laughs> so, so I got all that served to me, plus she thought I was gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Whew. Right, kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, dude, you just have to honestly. Number my number one rule as far as you know, solving all the problems that we get questions about in regards to women. Yeah, is stop talking to women that you stop, want stop, to actually, sleep. The worst with. thing you do is talk about you. Oh yeah, you of, well. of course. But unless it's in response to something. Well, yeah, I hate talking to people who talk about only themselves. Um, I like a little bit of forward and back. I like the opportunity to be like, like, hey, Scott, mm. that's a great shirt, you know, blah, blah, yada, yada. And like, yeah, thanks. You know what? Quite frankly, I kind of like your shirt too. And I'll be like, you know what? Talk about some common ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've talked to attractive women that are interested in me and they're just talking about themselves. And I'm like, frankly, I'm not interested in you anymore. You so, said it to them. Um, actually. Oh, in, in, so, oh, in the back of your oh, mind. Oh, no, actually, I did um, sleep with one woman once. The only reason um, there, I kept talking to her is because um, she wanted me to buy her a drink, and I frankly had no desire to do so. So you just kept talking to her? No, no, I actually left a couple of times and came back later on. And she kept wanting you to buy her a drink? Yeah, she hitting on me and like trying to get me to buy her a drink. I'm like, I, I don't like your attitude. I don't want to <laughs> buy you a drink. No, I told her that. I don't like your attitude. I'm not going to buy you a drink. Not a chance. Which and she took that as a challenge, so she's, she wants me to get her a drink. I actually did end up getting her a drink. It was a, one, of the, one of the wines there. She, her friend had already bought her a drink. So what I did is she's like, oh, you finally got me a drink. Like, one sec, I put it down. I took her glass out of her hand, drank it, handed her the new one. I'm like, technically, I didn't buy you a drink. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Now, actually, you know, um, another friend of mine, uh, what he did was, okay, so he's, he's pretty confident. Yeah. He's confident. Very confident. You're confident in yourself. I think that's the main he, thing. He was confident in himself. He was, he was comfortable with the person that he is. Yeah, and you can't pretend to be someone else. You're yeah. comfortable with the person you are. Yeah. And especially he, and he, up there with. And he was. Mm -hmm. So what he did was he was at a club once, and he saw a, a pretty lady. So he was just like, I'm just going to approach her because I find her attractive. Yeah. And um, so what he did was, what he did was he went up to a woman and he, and he held his hand out like like so. Yeah. Like, like put your hand in my hand so that I can piss it or whatever. Yeah. You know? And she was reluctant. And she was like, I Yeah, know, I, I don't know. Too. I don't know. So what he did was, he went like this, up into a high five. And then she high fives, high five me, Scott. And then he grabs the hand and then he twirls her around and, and then he introduces himself. And then oh, she's like, and she's like, honestly, you have to approach that very well. Oh, he was very, he was very really, well. He did it really well. Oh, okay, you have and, to. Do you want some public approval? You almost want other people being like, check this guy, he's cool. Yeah. What's a public confirmation before you do that? Because people touching them without laying like the groundwork of conversation. Oh, but it was, but it was only her. He didn't. He didn't twirl her into him. He just turned her around. Okay. And then went, I'm, I'm bloody whole. That, you know? That's really cool. But you, 
I don't think I would be able to pull that. I reckon I would. Yeah. But that's only because like, I'm completely I'm, I'm also them. very respectful of actually touching people. So when I do, it but can you, come but across you, but you, slightly you, hesitant because I'm trying to be polite and it can be misconstrued. You also have to, to know when it's time to be like, yeah, I apologize. Yeah, that's it. The, the, the biggest thing about confidence is you also have to know when to say I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously, like, if you're very confident, you're going to cross a couple of lines. Yeah, maybe she's really uncomfortable about being touched. Yeah. Fair enough. She reacted very well. She laughed about it, and then he laughed about it. And then she they, they ended up um, going, getting a drink, and having a chat for a while. He yeah. didn't sleep with it. He didn't even get her number. They just had a good time, and that was it. Good. And um, I, I, I just I saw that, and I thought it was really interesting. Yeah. You know, how... Like, if, if you weren't confident in yourself, and then you went up and you went like this, that, and then you, you, have you, to you did all those things. To do you, that. You, Otherwise, it's going to be, if you're uncomfortable, it makes other people uncomfortable. I don't the believe... You're typically comfortable with yourself. Otherwise, if you're being uncomfortable, that uncomfortableness is going to reflect in them. They're going to be uncomfortable, and it's going to be misconstrued. For you. I don't believe in... Have you ever heard the term practice makes perfect? Yeah. I don't believe in it. I think it's shit. Because, because if, okay, let me put it to you like this, Scott. I'm, I'm going to give you my own analogy for what makes perfect, right? Uh-huh. So you're playing T-ball, right? You hold the bat the, the wrong way. Yeah. You're swinging in the wrong direction. Uh-huh. And you're performing awfully. Yeah. If you continue practicing awfully, you're going to be really fucking good at being an awful T-ball player. <laughs> However, if you practice perfectly, if you keep doing your best and practicing your best, then you will get better. Perfect practice. Perfect, perfect practice creates perfection. Yeah. But so so obviously, like if you if you fake confidence, you're going to be really 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 good at faking confidence. Maybe you might be a bit confident after doing so. Maybe, but for the most part, I'm not going to sit here and tell people. You know, you should fake confidence with people. You should just pretend that you really know what you're talking. That because you know what people can see when you're not being genuine. Yeah. But I, my advice is talk to every single person that you meet. It is not impossible. I do it every single day. Yeah. I get a coffee. I talk to the cashier for a couple of seconds. Yeah. You know, the drive thru I, I say hi to the freaking checkout person in the drive thru or yeah. makers or something. And then you all. What I, this is my script when I get a coffee. And I've even picked something up off you that I really think works very well. Okay. So I go get a coffee. I go, hey there, how you doing? And then and they'll go, oh, good, thanks. And then I'll be like, yeah, not bad. It's pretty hot out, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, do you mind if I get a cappuccino, whatever? And I'm like, yeah, sure thing. And by this stage, they're already in a good mood because they can tell I'm being genuine yeah. because I'm having a conversation you're really, with them. You're having a genuine moment with them, which it appreciates. It makes it better for you. Yeah. And then when people see this, they're like, he's a, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Because he, he gives a crap. He's genuine. Yeah. And then I'll, and then I'll go because I don't push too much. I don't want to. It's just a conversation. Yeah. You know? And then when I go to pick up my coffee, I'll go, oh, thank you kindly. Mm. Because thank you kindly sounds a lot more genuine than thank you. Because everybody says thank you. But when you hear thank you kindly, that's mm. it's a very old school, traditional sort of way of saying thank you. And I really mean that because I've mm. put effort into this. You know? mm. Thank you is empty now. I always like enjoy the rest of your day as well. I, 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 I do enjoy ending the yeah. day as well. They'll, they'll go have a nice day and go right back at you, or I'll say, "Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, or have a good evening, have a good day." Yeah. You know? By the way, guys, I'm assuming it's guys. Mostly by some women. Mostly it's guys. You know, it, I reckon if you're a lady who likes ladies, you already know about ladies, so you get locked down. So it's all right. <laughs> but um, really, going to clubs is probably one of the worst places you can meet. Oh yeah, going to a club is the worst place. They've been hit by twenty people before you. They're already sick of it. They're on their guard. Okay, Scott. Where do guys go to pick up women? Clubs. Yeah. They go to clubs. They go to bars. They go to... They go to clubs, bars, social outings where they can get alcohol, relax, and all that sort of shit. Yeah. Where do women go to pick up? Women go to clubs to pick up. So you have a whole handful of people not really being genuine with each other, going out for the only purpose of finding somebody... And everybody's hitting on everybody. You really want to be in that environment? You want to be in the cage of animals clawing away at each other? Yeah. Or do you... you I mean, you really... You have to do well to do well. You know what I mean? So I once saw a guy in the city. He could have picked up my mother. (laughs) 
this guy was beautiful. Yeah. Holy crap. I look, bro, I'm not gay, mm. but fuck me, I'm close to it if I saw him again. Yeah. He, he must have, he, he looked like a stereotypical Fabio, you know, yeah. a French Fabio. You know? yeah. He had long wavy hair mm-hmm. and he had a really, really sharp tailored suit. Okay. He had an over jacket to match the suit. Oh, nice. He had, he had ta- like tailored Italian shoes and a, and a, and a leather briefcase. Okay. Now, he had a perfect five o'clock <laughs> shadow. We're talking like Gucci model five o'clock. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It completely. This must have been barber trimmed. <laughs> now, this is. He had, a, he had a nice frame of face. Yeah. But this is the kicker, right? The wind was blowing horrendously. Mm. People were. were or close to being picked up and hurled away. Not a single fucking hair <laughs> was out of place. Yeah. He was perfect. Well, I think you were saying like women just walking by, like double taking and like yeah, yeah. foaming at the mouth. I, I, crossed, I crossed I crossed Elizabeth Street. Mm-hmm. I was walking across Elizabeth Street at the lights outside of work at yeah. the time. To and, and he crossed me. And there was one or two women who'd, who'd actually just been like, holy shit. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, for the most part, I walked past him out and I was like, damn, I'm going to forget it. <laughs> you know, like this guy was That's a, a handsome man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he could reach around me, you know. <laughs> but like, honestly, if uh, unless you're a guy like that, mm. you can you, you can't really pick up at the clubs that well. Yeah. If you are a guy like that, you don't go yeah. to clubs. You better, to be, pick you better up, be like, really good looking and Irish. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but you don't. If you're a good, really good looking guy like that, you don't go to clubs to pick up women. Yeah, you know, well, generally because you walk around the streets and women just flaunt to you. <laughs> but in my opinion, the best place to pick up women is a bookstore. Bookstores are great. Bookstores, you know, yeah. they're not morons. That's always a good because one. I because intelligent women are sexy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. Cashiers, waiters. Mm. I mean, it's not like you have to force conversation. It just goes very easily. Yeah. You know? Anything with conversation goes easily. I mean, I think the best thing is to just go out to interesting places and meet interesting women. Or you can just be an interesting person. Well, the thing is, going out <laughs> doing interesting things in interesting places invariably makes you an interesting person. You know something else that I heard <laughs> that will... We, we spoke to the same guy. He's told you this, so you'll know it when I say it. Okay. Maybe you'll know it. It, it mm-hmm. was the clown. M- Michael, who, the mailroom? Mail yeah, room yeah, clown. that's yeah. yeah. I liked him. He was a good guy. I liked Superman. Anyway, anyway he, um, he told me, Roy, every single day do something. Do something. Do something mm-hmm. different if you can. Every, even if it's a different cup of coffee. Yeah. Do something different. Because, like, how do you feel, Scott? When I send you a message and I go, hey, Scott, how you doing, buddy? Sorry, I just finished doing this, buddy, lifts my class. Mm. Um, what have you been doing today? And um, how do you feel sending me a message being like, I haven't really done anything? Yeah. Like, nobody likes saying that. Yeah, that's it. You know? So, um, I mean, I certainly hate saying it, mm. which is why I always make an effort to do something. If, if I've got nothing on today, I'm going to if I've got nothing on, I'll wash the car. I washed the car yesterday. Mm. I had nothing to do for a couple of hours, so I washed the car. you got nothing to do? Read a book. Yeah, reading a book's a good one. Look up stuff you like. Yeah. YouTube, a whole bunch of philosophers. And shit. That's what I like. Mm. Mm. Um, try to live your life like you're going to tell someone your day. Oh, that's a great one. That's a really good Because I think about it, like, would you rather here's, be like... Here's a real shit test for you guys. Um... Buddy up with someone else and tell each other your day for like two weeks. Nice. You have to do something interesting because you don't want to. You don't want to be one up. You don't want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. And then before you know it, you'll find yourself up with being a little bit more interesting. That's it. You know? And women love interesting people that make them laugh. Mm. You know, confidence is sexy. Interesting being interesting is sexy. Combination of a bunch of things. Being yourself is good. Jeez. I used to. Uh... I used to not do a lot of anything. Now I've got so much on that sometimes it overlaps. Yeah. I do yoga, I do gymnastics, I do running, mm. and then I hang out with a couple of friends, hang out with you, I do podcasts with mm. you, mm. stuff like that. Um, people like hearing that sort of stuff. They do. But, but you know what else is really good? Like, would you rather be like, hey, 
Troy, how are you doing? Would you rather, what have you been doing today? Would you rather be saying something like, you know what, I sat down, I read this really good book, mm. really good dug into this book, read it for a good solid hours, man. Mm. Or would you rather be like, oh, you just sat around Facebook for a good while, and then I, uh, then I took a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But even if it's like I was in Facebook, I'm like, oh man, I was having a conversation with this guy about um, private military companies, and he, he recommended I should totally work for ASIO as an agent. But then I bitched to him about not wanting to work for someone else's agenda, so he recommended I should go and work for Blackwater instead. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, even yeah. if it's an interesting conversation, just life is interesting. The worst thing you can do is be like, honestly, I'm just bored. You can't be bored. You have the internet. It's <laughs> a really good point. You can find out thousands of things that are like a few minutes drive away. Yeah. You I'm can, bored. How can you be bored? You can, you can <laughs> learn how many decimal points, how, how many numbers there are after the decimal point in pi. Mm. 3.146? 3.14. Uh, I don't know. 3.14. I don't know. Oh, sorry. 3.14. And I don't know. I don't know. Scientists don't know either. Only people who know the proper digits of pi are science enthusiasts. Man, I eat pi. Yeah, <laughs> I had a, had a friend who worked at a service station. Actually, every time someone asked him how much is the pi, he said three point one four, and they just pretty much gave you him the look three point three dollars fifteen. Yeah, three point one four, and he and, and basically they give him the look that you gave me in response to that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, yeah, I was trying. It wasn't to, very funny the first time. It wasn't very funny the first time. It wasn't very funny the tenth time. <laughs> no. Uh, how much is the pie? It's point one four. I don't want a pie. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Shut. I'm going across the road where it's possibly more expensive. Six point two eight. Oh man, get two pies. Well, yeah, I was. That's what I was going for. Yeah. That. That was the joke. Okay, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Um. What if you if you wanted to be more interesting, Scott? What was one? What is one thing that you would do? Like if if, if you now you as a person wanted yeah. to be more interesting, what would you do? Okay, what I would do is I'd find a bunch of things that I'd enjoy doing but haven't done yet. That I always wish I probably should have done that. I really want to have done that. I really wish I could do that. Do it. I really wish I could juggle. I need to learn how to juggle. Seriously, I need, I need to still buy things to learn how to juggle. Yeah, like you personally. Yeah, I want to learn how to juggle. Good for hand-eye coordination. Nice. Juggling stuff is cool. And it's really interesting in the social situation. People love people that can juggle. And contact juggle. Women love that shit. Contact juggle. You ever seen The Labyrinth with David Bowie? Uh, to be much, honest, I have seen it, but I'm not a fan of it. Pretty much you get like a ball or something like that and just roll it across your body. Oh, oh okay. Contact juggle. Yeah. There you go. Women love that. I don't know what I would do to make myself more interesting. I think just try interesting things you like. I think I need to grow my beard back. Yeah, obviously. (laughs) 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 But really, just get out there, enjoy yourself, do interesting things, meet interesting people. You'll have a lot more to talk about with women. You'll be a lot more confident because you're getting outside your comfort zone. And just talk to people. People love having their day bright by having interesting conversations. Talk to people on the train. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, don't make it it doesn't need to be weird unless you make it weird. I went for a run. Last night, I go for a run pretty much every night. Mm. Went for a run last night, and there's this one particular piece of hill. So I, sp- I legged it. Mm. I must have legged it for about ten seconds because I'd already run about seven k's already. Yeah, yeah. And so I was tired, and I, and I came to a little, tr- what do you call it, a, a tro- trot or whatever? A trough. A, a trough. I came to a little trough. Like a dip in the hill. And um, and I, I put, walked past a guy, and he just turned to me and he just said. You're running, and I'm having trouble just going for the walk. <laughs> and I just laughed about it. And I'm like, when you when you say it, like when you say go talk to people on the train, just talk to people on the street. Yeah, sounds, I do it all the time. I it, talk to people occasionally just walking by. Yeah, I'm like man, it's hot today, but, and they're like, Whoo. but um, it sounds a lot harder than it is. Oh yeah, but look what happened last night. Some yeah. guy did it to me, and I'm just like, I like that dude. Yeah, and I'm like, it. you have a good night, buddy. And then I, I kept running, and he's like, yeah, man. Well, that was it. I, I, when I did that letter drop with you uh, as a favor to the friend, I had a chat to just about every person that I walked past. Nice. You know, I thought, why the hell not? Yeah. It makes my day go quicker. Yeah. People like conversations. It brightens their day. I you brighten other people's day, and you make a better world. I freaking love talking, dude. I love yeah. talking to people. Mm. I mean, we're, 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 we're it doesn't need to take more than two sentences. Ah. You know, you'll be more comfortable with just striking up conversations. 
And nothing's more intimidating than striking a conversation with a pretty woman, with a pretty woman in an environment where you're looking to chat her up and it's not going to happen. If you have a chat to just about everyone on the street, what's, what's there to fear? It's just another person you're talking to. You know, they don't want to talk about her. It doesn't, well, it doesn't always apply to women either, Scott. Yeah. You, you get really good at talking, really good at conversations. Mm. You go into a big job interview. That's it. Oh, man. I'm, I kick ass at job I interviews. I slay them. Yeah. Oh, they can't shut me up. I mean, I've done sales jobs, so I slay at interviews already. But, yeah. oh, man, I talk about anything to yeah. anyone and charm them. Because it's what I'm used to doing. Yeah. I like talking to people. And, and people can tell when you're really genuine at talking mm. because... I like talk- I like getting jobs. I'm genuine about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you talk to heaps of people genuinely. Mm. You get really good at speaking genuinely. Mm. You become a genuine speaker. Mm. People can tell that you're a genuine speaker. And then more people talk to you. Boom. Yeah. You, are, you are now suddenly the most confident person in the world because yeah, you're just well, genuine. I'm not talking to interesting guys that know what they want. Do you want to be the sort of guy who, who is really confident in himself but always just talks shit? No, no not really. You if you're want interesting, to... you don't need to talk shit. Exactly. So be genuine, always. Mm. If you've got nothing nothing um, interesting to say, then do not make anything up. If you've got nothing more interesting to say or you have no interesting points, then end the conversation. Be like, yeah, don't talk about the weather. No one's interested. Unless, unless it is... Unless an observation about the weather, that's an interlude yeah. to something else. Like, God damn Unless it's seriously it's though. storming right then, then talk about it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But, it it's like you with the, with the, with the pretty woman. Mm. You spoke and then you were like, look. I didn't want to talk about anything else. Yeah, you didn't want to talk about anything else. You had nothing more to say, so you just ended it. You mm. didn't try dragging it on and stuff like that. Mm. So, for the, for the most part, that's class A example. Yeah, you've got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose at all. You're just having a conversation. You might get a number. You might get a conversation. You might have a coffee date. You, you, you might not. Have a good it, doesn't, experience. it doesn't matter. You're opening up yourself to good experience and all the possibilities that a new opportunity will give you. And all you're really losing is a few minutes of time. Yeah. And you enjoyed your time. So, but you're not losing anything. Go ahead. Have- Women will say no to you for a variety of reasons. Often, nothing to do with you. And that's fine. Do this own person. Hell. Women might talk to you and you're not interested, so you just say no. No, one, it doesn't matter. It just happens. You, you might just be like, hey, how are you doing? And she's like, oh. If it's the worst you have to worry about is some lady doesn't want to give you her number because the conversation wasn't quite there for her, then you've got a blessed life. Yeah. Because you know what? You, you end up with the same thing you started off. Actually, you, you finish off with a little bit more confidence. Mm. So you even if you don't get anywhere, you dive bomb and you crash and you burn. Sometimes it's funny when you die. You know what? I, You've got to laugh at yourself. You it, have to laugh at the absurdity of life and the situation. Okay. So I'm, for a long time, I've been pretty confident. Mm. I've talked to a lot of people. I have only ever once really just crashed and burnt. Yeah. And it was a week ago. Oh, yeah. Have I told you this? I'm not sure. No. I, was, I was at McCarth Square. And my friend, Sophia, mm-hmm. she works at Vitamin Creek. Okay. And I was just outside. I'm like, oh, oh go. this one, you burned. <laughs> oh, that would be uncomfortable telling me about. It was awful. It was, oh, fucking, it was fucking awful. Jesus. Dude, it was so bad. Seriously, guys, this one was horrible. Oh, you have to hear it. You have to hear it. Okay, so, um, I, look, for the most part, I like Sophia. I've always never had a problem talking to her. Mm. I can say anything. I can make inappropriate jokes. Doesn't, I'm fine, dude. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to go and just say hi to Sophia. And so I walked in. Walked straight up to the desk, and there she was, right in front of me. And I went hi, and she and she looked up and she went hello. You weren't and, sure, so good. and I wasn't sure because she'd lost a lot of. Uh, she was already thin, mm. but she'd lost a lot more, and her face, like, you, yeah, the, the skin was pulled back and stuff. Like, it was actually for a little bit there. I'm like, is this Sophia? Yeah. Is this just someone who looks like her? Oh my god, she's staring at me, <laughs> and, and she's looking at me, and she's like, what? And I'm looking at her and I'm just staring at her. I'm like, Roy, what the fuck are this you doing? This went on for 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, this went on for like 15, 20 seconds of silence. I'm, I'm just oh. staring. And inside my head, I'm like, that's not Sophia. No, no, no. It's Sophia. For sure, it's Sophia. Say anything. And then, and, then, and then I'm like, but if it was Sophia, she would have been like, Roy, how you doing? You know? But she, she wasn't. So that just makes me think that it wasn't Sophia. <laughs> and then in the back of my mind, even more, I'm like, oh my God. Dude, it's already been like seven, eight, nine, ten seconds, and you haven't said it. Say something. Make an inappropriate joke. 
oh, but no, if you make an inappropriate joke and it's not Sophia, then you're just going to be a retard. <laughs> and then the manager comes over and the manager's like, you're right, dude. And then I'm, I'm staring at the manager. I'm like, oh my God, the manager's here. What do I say? Maybe I should make a joke to her about how I f- didn't recognize her. Yeah. And then and then I'm like, no, if you if you make a joke about how you didn't recognize her after like 15 seconds of silence while the manager has come over oh, and is making fun of you, you, you've already pretty much crashed and burnt, dude. So just get out of there. Oh. Go. go. Oh, yeah, this, this went on for a long time. So I'm like, oh. okay, I'm in a really bad situation. I've never done this. Like, I've never crashed and had nothing to say before. I don't know what the freaking hell just happened. So... I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then. You could have just gone, Sophia? Yeah, I, I told you. No, I'm not Sophia. Oh, okay. Oh, no, dude. I should just say one word. It's really You know? And so I'm like, okay, I'm at Barnum and King. Maybe I'll just go off and make it look like I was puzzled about a vitamin or a question. Maybe that's my way out. Yeah, she asked me if you were right or something. <laughs> she's like just like, you're right. And I've just been like, uh, just a staring at her, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, okay, if, we, if you're going to make something about the vitamins, you have to look at them at the very least. So I broke eye contact with her and looked at the vitamins. And then, and then I'm staring at the vitamin <laughs> wall. And then I'm just like, that's, that's vitamin. I must have st- stared at it for five seconds. Uh, like one, two, three. I'm like, do something, oh my God. It's like screaming in my head. And, I'm, and then all logic was gone. It's like, no, nah, I've tried. I've, I've done everything that I can to get you out of the situation and you're being a dickhead, so I'm done. <laughs> and so I just looked back at her and I went, I think I'm all right. <laughs> and, walked. And, then I, and then I walked out of the store. And then, <laughs> and then as I'm leaving, she's like, Roy, how's, how's Tafe gone? I knew it! 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 I knew you were so big. And she's like, Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, You just stared at me for like 20. And I'm like, You, you lost a lot of weight and stuff. And, 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 and she's like, Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, In my mind, I'm like, Why didn't you just go off and be like, You lost a lot of weight. I barely recognized you. You look so good. But no, you had to put just, Why? Of all the, and, and then I just walked out. I felt like an idiot. I'm like, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to laugh at yourself. You know? That's just absurd. That was... Oh, man. That genuinely made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, made me, it didn't make me feel bad because I was embarrassed. It made me feel bad because... Fuck me, man. That was ridiculous. Mm. That was really ridiculous. You're going to laugh about this. Oh, I, I'm, I, I hope she listens to it. And I hope she laughs about it. <laughs> but she probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was the only time I've ever touched it. Yeah. I've always found I've run out of things of interest to say sometimes. Oh, I just walk into that now, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So. You get better over time, anyway. Yeah. I, saw, yeah. I always have a, a bunch of questions I'm always interested in. So. Mm. Anyway, for the most part, I think we've answered a lot of people's questions in this. Um, yeah. Well, any... It was enjoyable for all involved. So. I had a lot of laughs. A lot of laughs. It was very... I, I, we didn't really need to philosophize. We just needed to be genuine. Well, that's it. It's all just human behavior, human emotion. Don't worry about it, guys. It's a conversation. No big deal. Easy. All right. Roy, I'm, I'm signing off. Yep. I'm Scott. I'm signing off. All right. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Yep. And we're probably there too. What? On the flip side. Yeah, because I'm going to catch... How's that going to work? Because I'm going to catch them on the flip side. So, I'm so gonna... will you be waiting there with like arms outstretched? No, 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 because... Well, if they're going to do possi- a flip, you should probably catch them. Well, well possibly, because if I'm going to catch them on the flip side, wouldn't that mean I'm already on the flip side awaiting their... You can't be two places at once. No, 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 because I'm... See you guys. <laughs>